Sacramento Republic. He's coming back from injury, and he's been able to control the tempo in the middle of the park. He's going to be the integral piece if St. Louis is going to get things done tonight. And we are officially underway from Toyota. St. Louis sporting their green, white, and blue kits moving from left to right. RGV in their white and blue moving from right to left. Tyler Terrence along with the incomparable Devin Kirk. Glad to have you with us here on ESPN Plus. As right off the bat, a foul is going to be called against RGV. Attention in the game and just to be able to get that equalizer late. Sometimes games like that can be a catalyst to push you to greater things above and beyond. And this is an opportunity for them. If you take a look at the rundown in their schedule, they've got RGV and then they're gonna deal with Vegas and Tulsa. Those, a great opportunity for nine points. They're manageable, but Anthony Poulos having nothing but respect for this RGV side. And he said when looking at tape of this team that they really have had some close battles. I mean, they drew with Phoenix Rising FC and were able to shut with an important touch. It's going to be a fun matchup on that side of the pitch. Bryce Marion speeds from St. Louis in the middle of the park. Sean Reynolds fishing it the other way, helped along by Kadeem Dakers. Here's Seth Rudolph. Tended for Greg. Son, that's going to be an effect here as the set slowly makes its way into our picture and and you can see everything that's going on it's a great step there in the back by Omar Ontiveros but both goalkeepers gonna have to deal Aiden Stanley nothing doing there as Seth Rudolph forced to give chase fine if any his uh, compatriots at Louisville make their way there. James O'Connor, the first one to step up and say that all his boys deserve to be playing at the MLS level. So maybe a little bit of poaching. Wolf Fall. Most recent hero amongst the St. Louis FC ranks. And Takers is offside. Well, when talking with head coach Anthony Poulos earlier this week, very much a coach that believes in the process and the performances rather than the points. For 60 minutes against Sacramento, luckily they were able to turn it around and he said after the Dequa goal, both body languages changed for both St. Louis and Sacramento. As there's a good challenge on the outside. A little bit of space to work with. Closed down quickly by Wall Fall. Of course missed a large chunk at the beginning of the season due to injury. And was slowly worked back in the USL with six. They're actually tied with RGV in that department. Seth Rudolph busy being an irritant along that RGV back line, but can't win it for the club. A little bit of experience with recently Bethlehem Steel and Charlotte Independence, where it gets to this point where they have seven, eight game stretches where they're unbeaten and, and they have great records at home and this, that, and the other, but a tie only gets you so far. And the next thing in three points and move up the table. Currently St. Louis sitting in ninth place on 21 points. Colorado Springs ahead of them on 20. Good win from Kyle Gregg. Seth Rudolph, is he in? The answer is no. He's claiming he was dragged down by Kyle out of that one stacked formation right up top. Allows you for the run on opportunities in those long ball situations. Left touch. Here's Takers. It'll fall for Rudolph. He's trying to get it over for Kyle Gregg, but Kyle Adams with a very important touch going to get a few more reps than he's used to once he gets to Uduk University. Probably a regular starter there. Free header. Spilled by Gomez initially. And held in the end. Adams up for the header. Fink. Official unofficial name of the St. Louis Football Club. You know what a chupacabra is? Tell me. I wish I could. 
It's like a mythical creature. It like sucks the life out of you. Is that what it is? Something along those lines. All right. Well. So you can understand why the ownership wasn't necessarily keen on making that the official nickname of the club. Hilton. Big sweeping ball over for Kadeem Dakers. Not a bad one. On Tavares, only as far as Dakers. Kadeem. Stanley, great first touch. Over for Wall Fall. Kali Street in South Texas. Hilton. Not a bad ball in. Header one, but safely into the hands of Nico Corti. Catch a sneak preview on the USL Twitter page. Not exactly the way you want to send off your manager who brought the USL Championship and the USL Cup to Slugger. But such is life sometimes. Ranger teams in the Eastern Conference. They've been out of sorts out of re recently. I mean, 2 2 draw against Bethlehem Steel that gave up two goals in the last five minutes is. Kadeem Dakers is dragged down by Kai to step in and give him a look at something. We didn't really see it a lot in the first half from Kadeem Dakers or Joey Kalistri. They were more isolated in one-on-one -on -one situations. They need to look for distribution of that ball more often. Here's King Denis off to them. Perea. The skipper for Jerson Echeverri. Kai Green. Anthony Pulis is able to counteract that come the next 15-20 in the first half. Outswinger Zaldivar. Aguilar. Don't want to bring fall off, but at the same point in time, you don't want a weak link in the middle of the field, especially from someone like Wall Fall, who's such an integral piece, can float in and out of different situations, and we've seen what he can do from the set spot. Perea. Product of the Scott Gallagher Soccer Academy. Attended SIU Edwardsville as Seth Rudolph has a little bit of space but closed down quickly by Omar Ontiveros. Well done by Ontiveros. Difficult ball to take. Marion closed down quickly. Great turn from Seth Rudolph. Switches the point of attack. Police Street. Greg won't be able to get there. Puts in a good challenge. Hilton. Sam Fink was there just over his head. Seth Rudolph will be able to keep it in play. Now Greg trying to go to work. <laughs> it's a big 
experience. <laughs> Here's Greg. And it's going to be a foul. Seth Rudolph holding on to that right official. Give that man a raise. Good for you, buddy. And the dexterity with the switch. Got to respect him. Ontiveros, good distribution to find Padilla. Drop Joey! Kadeem Dakers trying to turn the court. Do commit Aiden Stanley on top of it. Right in front of Jerison Echeverry. Decent ball in. Handled well by the RGV back line. Hilton racing to get there, gets just enough on it. Kadeem Dakers, back for Lewis Hilton. Trying to slide it through, Dakers again. That's an extremely heavy touch, it was caught somewhere in Tomas Gomez can pick somebody out. And Devin, Kyle Gregg was our Toyota player to watch to find the back of the net to make your mark, and he still has plenty of time to do so. Great idea from Dakers, almost finding Kyle Gregg as they're starting to be some space to be had. Culbertson, long throw it. Ontiveros wins it. It's off the face of Colbert. Culbertson, it was intended for Lewis Hilton. Not a bad idea, but again, that final pass continues to elude St. Louis. Yeah, was it was it nearly hard enough, buddy? Yeah, Come on, man. And Padilla has shown yellow for his antics. And so impressive in his performances that he was shining bright and he stood out like the night sky, like the moon in its singularity. Gotta love that, the moon man. Really? I need a nickname like that. Salty pizza guy. It's taken. <laughs> and it looks like we're gonna have one final substitution in the form of Jordan Jones. For Jerson Echeverry, only two substitutes used for Anthony Poulos at this time. Perea. This is going to be an interesting test for St. Louis coming down the stretch. Only a few minutes left on the clock. Jones, 23-year-old from Pacific Grove, California. Selected 47th overall by Los Angeles Football Club, the MLS expansion side. Coming out to the scene here. James bringing it down, right into the backside of Police Street. Another counter attack broken up. Where's your money, Devin? My money is always on your addition being right. Once again, I'm correct. You all pointing us in the right direction. We couldn't do it without you, man. Off the ball in, Gomez off of his line. Still free. The shot takes a deflection. And Gomez hangs on to it. <laughs> 